Well, hi everybody, so glad to have you back. Today, we're gonna to finish up digestion. You know, we began this journey long ago with the digesters, um, beginning with our mouth, um, where the food went down through our esophagus and into our stomach. And then from our stomach to our duodenum, and those were the major organs that broke down our food into nutrients that were small enough for us to be able to absorb. And so then um, from the duodenum, the food had gone along into the small intestine. And from there, we studied a little bit about villi and the idea of all of these villi greatly increasing the surface through which we can absorb nutrients into our bloodstream. So that brings us to this stage, which is really the final stages of digestion. Because what we have left is the leftovers, what our body didn't absorb from the small intestine. And so what begins as a liquid coming out of the small intestine right here will come around through this entire large intestine, which kind of takes this square loop around the small intestine. And as it goes through here, it will begin to lose more and more water. And that water is for us, it is our hydration. So it's important for us to gain the water out of the food and drink that we put in our bodies. So to give us a little bit more information about this, we're gonna send it over to Dr. Silas, okay? Be right back. Ew, hello. Ew, I can't believe they've got me working in a place like this. This is just not right. Not right at all. Oh, hello. How long have you been there? So, welcome. It's Dr. Silas. Welcome to the large intestine. Well, today we're going to learn a little bit about the difference between how the waste comes into the large intestine compared to how the waste goes out of the large intestine. So we're back here today with the absorbers. All right, the large intestine is where we're going to focus today. And so where we left off before was on the small intestine where we were absorbing all those nutrients into the bloodstream. And so here we are at this moment at the very end of the small intestine where most of the nutrients have already been absorbed. So now it's time to begin our journey into the large intestine so that we can begin to absorb some water out of this liquid waste that is left. And so therefore, by doing this, not only will we gain water, but we're also going to learn later in this lesson a little bit about the good bacteria that live in our large intestine that help us digest food and absorb even more out of this waste. And so let's see if I can get this to go all the way through and get it to come out the other end. One moment. So therefore, the liquid leftovers ever so slowly progress along the large intestine as the water is being absorbed into the bloodstream for our body to use. So as the waste approaches the end of the large intestine, it is now a semi-solid waste often called feces, that will work its way over to the rectum where it will be stored when it is time to be expelled from the body through the anus to make its way to the world. So therefore, that is the story of how food began in the mouth, moved through the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, and now is finished up in the rectum ready to make its way into the world through the anus. So, let's take it on back. Mm, mm, mm. What a lovely, scrumptious treat my large intestine has made. Would you like some too? No? Are you sure? I have some extra right here. No? Well then, just more for me. It's time for me to go anyway. Which way is out? Should I be going that way? I'll give it a try. Bye bye. Well, Dr. Silas, I'm not sure what to say. I don't think I want any of those treats myself either. However, 
I do so appreciate you reinforcing this concept of the large intestine being very responsible for taking the water out of the leftovers and making sure that our bodies get the water that it needs. And so one other lesson that I want us to also look at here with the large intestine is this concept of good bacteria. You might have heard of that before with things called probiotics. And so the article that you guys are about to read goes into what good bacteria are and kind of this relationship that we have with them. We do something for them and they do something for us. And so even though it seems a little anti our logic, um, there are bacteria out there that are actually our friends. And so many of those that live, the billions of those that live in our large intestine are certainly our friends. All right, so at this point, you guys, you're just gonna go back into the document. You're gonna see the link that takes you to that article. Um, you're gonna have a few things to respond to, and then there'll be a Google exit ticket at the end. All right, and so if you have any questions, give us an email. We'll be around during class time and hoping you're having a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, bye-bye.